Hello, little friends. It's Miss Rachel here again with another exercise that we can do to keep our body super strong and healthy. And today, we're going to pretend to turn into superheroes and do some flying. So, you might have noticed I brought some of my flying superhero friends to join us. At my house, we have a lot of superheroes. I might have mentioned this to some of my friends in my classes. I don't know if you remember, but we really do. This is just a few of them. And in case you don't know all of their names, I'm going to tell you. So right here we have Hawk Girl, and she can fly because she has wings. Big, beautiful wings. I love her outfit. And then here we have Green Lantern. And Green Lantern can fly because he has his ring. And then here we have a little tiny Iron Man and of course we all know he can fly because of his suit and then here we have Captain Marvel she is so cool she can fly and she can do so many other things and then here we have the most famous flying superhero of all we have Superman and here we have Wonder Woman she is also extremely famous and can fly and lastly back here we have Cyborg you might recognize him from Teen Titans Go now Here's what we're gonna do. This exercise is called Superman slash Supergirl, but I made sure to bring my superhero friends so that you can see that you can pretend to be any superhero you want. Now, right here in my hands, we also have Beast Boy. You might also recognize him from Teen Titans Go. And yes, he still has his tag on because in my house, a lot of times we don't take the tags off of our toys, and we even keep them in the boxes. Some of my friends find that amazing. <laughs> now, here's what we're going to do. Beast Boy, he can't fly all the time. Sometimes he can turn into animals that can fly, but for this exercise we're going to pretend he cannot fly, and we have to rescue him. Now, here's what we do. We're going to lay down on our bellies, just like this, and you want to make sure that you have a lot of room in front of you because you're going to pick whatever toy you want, any toy you want, and you're going to rescue it. And you're going to have to hold your toy all the way out. But while we're flying, here's the thing. Our arms and our legs, at least up to our knees, cannot touch the ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift our arms up like this. And then we're gonna and hold up your toy to keep them from falling so you can rescue them. And then hold up your legs just like this so that you can fly. Now while we hold up our legs, the most important thing, we do not wanna let our knees touch the ground. See how I bent my knees and then I just set my knees on the ground? Yeah, that's not flying. So we have to keep our knees up and balance on just our bellies. Now the other thing that, that, <laughs> that can't touch the ground is your elbows, okay? See, if my elbows are touching, I'm not flying. No way. My hands can't touch, definitely can't let my toy touch the ground. Gotta keep the elbows up, gotta keep the legs up, and you gotta keep those legs straight, okay? Now, here's what we're gonna do. First, to rescue our toy, we're gonna fly while we count to 10. Then we're gonna fly while we count to 15. And then for the last part of our flight, we are going to fly while we count to 20. All right, friends. Now the muscles that you're gonna be making stronger, a whole bunch of back muscles, whole bunch of back muscles, but also your leg muscles, those leg muscles and those back muscles, they might get a little tired. But as always, if we give up when we're tired, Remember, our muscles don't get as strong. So if we keep going even when we're tired, that's when we get the strongest. So are you guys ready to rescue your toy? Go get your toy, and now let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna hold out Beast Boy, stretch out my arms, stretch out my legs, and when I say go, we're gonna lift up our arms and our legs and we're gonna start counting. Are you guys ready? On your marks, get set, go! One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now relax. Just take some breaths. You can pretend to smell flowers and blow off the petals. But get ready, because now it's time to fly again. Okay, this time, remember, we're going to count to 15. So on your marks, get set. Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, good job, guys. I really felt it in my back that time. Did you? Maybe? Let's hope. All right, guys. Now, for 
for the last flight. We're going to count to 20, but we got to make it interesting. So we are going to count to 20 in Spanish. Are you guys ready? Okay. Hold out your toy. And on your marks, get set. Go! Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, diez y seis, diez y siete, diez y ocho, diez y nueve, veinte! Good job. You did it. And you just rescued your toy. That was amazing flying. Now, let's actually curl up into child's pose. You can hang on to your toy. Just bend those knees, curl up, reach out, reach out, tuck that head under. And what we're doing right now is something called counter stretching. Now counter stretching is when you do the opposite of what you just did. Now while we were flying, we were bending our backs like a banana. Like a banana, uh-huh. So what we need to do is instead Curl up like a turtle to give our backs a little break and to help them feel better, okay? So if your back is still a little sore, then go ahead and curl up in that child's pose again. Get that head down. And great job flying. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.